I'm Jojo Fusion, and this is a game called Astroneer. And what we're going to be doing today is playing through the first hour of it to see if maybe it's a game that you want to pick up and play yourself. And at the end, I'll give you my opinions as to whether or not I would continue to play this game after the first hour. Uh, spoiler alert, I've actually put a lot of hours into this game. So you can just, my suggestion is go buy it now. Before we jump into it, we have basic options. You can play solo on your own. You could join friends if they're in a joinable game, or you can even join a dedicated server. And I've played on a dedicated server. In fact, I, I had one running up until a few months ago. And what the dedicated server allows you to do, one of the big things, is get around the four player limit. If you play just a simple, um, you know, single player and then someone joins your game, or if you join somebody else's game, you're going to be limited to four slots. So four people can play. With a dedicated server, you can have, I think, as many people as you want. We've actually played with eight at one time. So you've got uh, single player, multiplayer servers. You can change your uh, PC controls. You can change... Oh, uh, they, these are uh, PC settings. You can change your PC controls. You can play on a controller and change those controls. This game does play well on a controller. I've actually played this sitting on my couch and the controller worked great. And then you have the Astropedia, which is quick help tutorials, you know, how to play the game and what things are. Uh, and then you could configure how your guy looks. So those are the main things you can do from uh, this main menu. But let's go ahead and let's launch and get down to a world, which is called Silva. I started a new, said start new adventure. There's adventure and creative. Creative, there's, it, it's just like creative mode in Minecraft. And adventure is just like um, adventure mode in, in, I guess, Minecraft as well. Adventure mode, survival, creative mode, kind of just build what you want. I'm going to lower the game audio a little bit. That's pretty loud. First thing we're going to do, we're going to land on this planet here called Silva. We're going to hit E to get out of our dropship. And when we do that, our little dropship is going to uh, convert into our home base. Uh, and we're going to get a launch pad just to the left of that. And if I hover over that, you can see it's our shelter. And right now we're getting oxygen from our shelter. If I get too far, and I, I guess I can get it from the, the landing pad too. If I get too far away from the shelter, you'll notice the blue bar on the top of my pack. That is how much oxygen I have, and it will slowly drain. I have to go back and connect to something that can supply me with oxygen to refill it. So right now we landed on the planet. There's our launch pad. First thing we're going to do, come over here, hit E. Uh, this box is our mission log. We're going to open that up. And the first mission, Planet Fall, arrived on Silva. We've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button. All right. And that gave us a small printer and an oxygenator. Now, right now, the base will give us oxygen. If I wander too far, I'll lose oxygen. The oxygenator will allow me to tether to it. And you'll see what that is in a moment. Right now, I'm going to unpack the oxygenator. And then we're going to slot that in. And I have force powers. Look at this. My mighty force powers. I can move things with my mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to slot that in over there. And it's just a, a left click to grab it, move it around with the mouse, and then another left click to place it. So right now, my oxygenator is placed. Now I'll grab my printer. I'm going to need to put this somewhere where there's power. These little yellow things at the bottom left, right right around there, those are power ports. I'm going to put this on a power port over here because I don't want it in the way of the landing pad. C and V will allow you to rotate for, you know, so you can control the placement of whatever it is you're placing. I'll just put that right there and I will plug this in. And now my printer has power and we've completed our first mission. So now we'll go ahead and open this up. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is because there is going to be more videos of this 
uh, coming up, which I played in multiplayer with several friends. And if you've never seen how this game plays, those videos would be a little harder to follow. So this is my printer. I can cycle through things to print them. Right now I have nothing. So we're going to go back over here and do what this tells us. This is basically our tutorial. Our mission log is going to walk us through the game, give us various missions. It'll give you missions throughout the entirety of the game, but we're doing the tutorial right now. All right, Ashenir Basics. We unpacked the oxygenator, installed it, and connected the printer to power. When I complete this, I'll get tethers and 500 bytes. Bytes are basically the currency we will use to purchase other things to build and upgrades and things like that. And we'll get bytes from completing missions and also from research. And research, there's two ways you can do it. We'll, we'll, you'll see both of them. One, you can go around and find these little things on plants and research them on the fly. Or you can create a research center and research things in the research center by putting things into the research center. You, you'll see all that. So let's go ahead, we'll open this. And I already see something I want in the distance. That right there, that spinning thing, that is a functioning medium uh, wind, uh, wind generator. That is cool that it's right there. And you will see why. So I'm gonna grab the tethers. Oh, uh, so to grab, what I just did was, all right, so tethers are on the ground. I left click with the mouse, and if I hit E, puts it right into a slot on my backpack. I have two slots up top, uh, two slots up top, and then another eight along the back. So right now, now, as you can see, or as I explained before, I just lost oxygen because I moved too far away from my shelter. Now, if I drop a tether, I can tether to my shelter because of this oxygenator. If I unplug the oxygenator, uh, the tether loses the ability to provide me with oxygen. You need an oxygenator or something that has a way to produce oxygen uh, to be able to tether to it. So we'll go ahead, we'll plug that back in. And now I have oxygen. The tethers will also provide power as well uh, to your suit. So I want to go, oh, I see compound. I'm going to go over there. I see a bunch of things I want. Holy Christmas. All right, so this is research, a piece of research uh, that we're going to put in that research center I mentioned. Uh, that's nice. We'll throw that there for now. We've got resin, which is this mac and cheese looking stuff, and we've also got compound right on top of it. These are the first two building materials we're going to use to build uh, our basic stuff and start building up our base. It's really nice. It's so close. I've got another piece of research over there and I've got a medium wind generator. This and more friggin more resin and more comp. This is a really nice location we dropped into. When you drop into uh, a new game, it's always different. It's randomly generated. So this we just happen to be in a resource rich area. This medium generator is a uh, really nice or well, that's a medium wind turbine. That's a real a really nice find to have right where we started. So I'm going to grab this piece of research too and bring that back. Um that will be important. Okay, so it wants me to, I believe it wanted me to, let's check again. Uh, all right. Oh, I completed it. Connect a tether. I did. So we'll complete that. And it gave me a small canister. Now what the small canister is going to do is as we mine resources, it's going to gather the soil as we mine. That's actually pretty important, and later on, we're going to get a soil centrifuge, and we can put these canisters in the soil centrifuge and refine it into other materials. But, so right now, gather comp four compounds, four resin, and this is going to be fill a small canister with soil, which we just got. 
So I'm going to go ahead and grab this, put it on my backpack, and as I mine this resin, these the, the mac and cheese and uh, silver bubbles, I will get soil as well. Oh, does this have... This also has power extenders on it. Right there. Which will allow us to extend our power out um, to connect pieces of equipment to it. it, it I'll show you in a, in a bit. All right, so let's let's mine this stuff. It's my miner. I hit F to bring my mining gun up. And then I'm just using the left mouse button to mine. And as I mine, I'm actually getting several different resources. I'm getting soil, I'm getting the resin, I'm getting the compound. And this plant material also gives me organic material. And we can use that for various things. We can make carbon, we can use it to fuel a generator. Oh, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so do I have... I've got... Okay, I need one more compound. Actually, I need one more of both. Compound and... Okay, is that everything? Is that all the things? I don't know, I'm gonna play it safe. I need a little more compound. Where can I get it? Okay, there's some here. There we go. Uh, I so oh, get stuck in the hole. Um, I need oxygen. Come back over to our tethers. And then, is there any more? I think I need one more compound. Because I only see three. I only see three. Uh, I saw some more. That's mac and cheese. Um, there. I shouldn't be doing... Uh, what is this? There... Okay, that's broken. So... Okay, so that's going to be four. I'm, I might as well grab whatever I can, because we're going to need tons and tons of this stuff. What is this? I'm going to die, because I want to see what this is. It's a battery! No, nope, give me this, and I need to get... I can't... I, oh, okay, we're going to have to kind of carry this like this. Oh, am I going to make it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh... I don't think I can run with the battery. Where's my tethers? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let me go get the battery. Yeah, this is uh, it's a really good uh, good drop zone. And there's more research over there. Really good drop zone. This battery, I'm just going to plug into the side of my habitat here, my shelter, and you can see it's charging. The shelter will provide, and actually at the bottom, produces one U.S. power. So it provides one. We're not using power right now, so it's going to charge that battery. Where the batteries become, uh, where the batteries come in handy is when we have so many things running that the shelter can't keep up, this battery will also produce, I think, one, uh, yeah, one, one US of energy, and it will do that until it depletes, and as you can see from the tooltip, it stores 32 U's, so. Um, but this, this medium generator will produce five, and once I get that on a table, I'm gonna plug that into the shelter, and we'll be in business. All right, so. I wanted to grab this. Jesus, there's another one. And clay. This is really a great drop zone. Clay is... I usually have a hard time finding clay. We'll refine clay into ceramic. I need to... Um, do this. And then I saw another little... This. 
and there's something on it, I see it flashing. Work light, wow. Um, okay, these are power cells. Oh, I'm full. They'll provide you with temporary power. They they are expendable, so once you use them, they go away, they're gone forever. So you will have the ability to build these. I should be getting oxygen. There we go. I'll put those there for now. They also have um an oxygen version of these too that will give you oxygen. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Um Anyway, what does this want me to do? There's so many resources here, it almost feels like I'm cheating. Like, the, this is a bit, this is a really big find. Alright, landfilling. We did that. We're going to get some bites. And resourcing, we're going to complete that. And we're going to get medium storage, uh, a medium platform by two, and then a schematic to build another oxygenator, which there are multiple planets in this game and you're going to have to go to all of them. There is a story. It's not a huge one, but you do have to go to each planet. There's something you have to do. Um, it's a very minimal story, but I, the, you can finish this game. All right. Uh, printing. So the next mission, medium printer, put it on a platform, uh, build some drill mods so that uh, those will enhance our drill in our miner. Lights in the distance, discover a gateway chamber. Okay, not gonna worry about that for now. The exo thing, not gonna worry about for now. Right now, we can do the printing up. So, medium printer and put it on a platform. Oh, I don't have to hit anything. So, we have a platform that we will use for our medium printer. We'll use this guy. And we'll spin him. I think that should be fine. We'll uh, V. That there. We'll we'll hit E to unpack it. And then we will plug it in. I'll just tether it to the printer, to the small printer. And I will. Oh, I've got a bunch of materials on my back. We will print the medium printer at the small printer. And it's a rover seat, small canister, work light, medium printer. Okay, so two compound. If you have it on your back, it'll take it right off your back. So you can just print. And I, I had the compound. So it's printing that. I wonder if it's draining our battery. No, the small printer doesn't use a lot of power. Oh, you know, I don't want to plug this in because it's going to make power real easy right now. Um, and I don't want to do that. So we have our medium printer. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, put that there. Go ahead and unpack it. I'm going to flip it around because I want them to both print in the same direction. So that's done. So now let's see what we can move on to. So we did that. We're going to get a large platform B and the schematic for it so that we can build more. They're ever so gingerly just dropping that stuff to the surface from space. Um, I want to put this here for now. What did it want us to do? How Pow uh, powerful problems print and connect a small generator to the net network. OK, so the small generator we can print from our backpack. So Q, I'm playing on a keyboard or a mouse and keyboard. So Q will bring up the backpack. I could print several things from the backpack. One of those being tethers, uh, oxygen, oxygen filters. That's what they're called. They'll extend your oxygen uh, capacity temporarily. Small canister. Yeah, I can use one of those. Uh, you know, I will build a small canister while I'm here, because this one is full. And uh, soil will be important later. You'll be glad that you saved it. So as you can build soil canisters, build them, because as you mine, you're going to gain soil. Uh, okay, so I want small generator, one compound. Print that. 
No, stop. I don't want you to do your thing. Uh, E, turn off. All right, so the generator, when it's on, will automatically pull organic into the unit and start burning it for energy. Um, so it took the one organic that I had and started burning it. I'm going to hit Q. Uh, so I'm just going to plug it right into... Now, you know, I will plug it into its own port. I could plug it into any port that's available. These medium uh, platforms, as well as the large platforms, have power ports on them, and you can uh, connect things to your power network through those ports, as well as anything with a with multiple ports on it. But I'm just going to take this and plug it into a port here. I have OCD. Close enough. Take that, plug that in. Now, if this generator runs, it'll actually feed power and distribute it throughout our base. So if we were running short on power, we could turn the generator on to generate, I think that's one, oh, two, uh, two use of, um, of power. I'm not hundred percent sure what use is. I think it's units. So, um, and, us is units per second okay um so that's plugged in we completed that come over to our mission log and it says powerful problems complete that we'll get a small another small battery and the schematic to build one however to build the small battery we'll need zinc and we don't have that right now I do have another port on the side of my shelter. I'm going to plug that in and that battery will charge. Here, so what is... Oh, this is the turbine going. All right. Uh, fully charged battery. That's completed. So we, we had a mission for battery backup. Uh, we'll get a splitter and some power extenders. Oh, oh maybe it was just the... Um, the schematics for them. All right, so now the power extenders, just to show you what they do, I have them up here. Is it is it R to use them? No, R is going to drop my tethers. Uh, is it T? Can't remember. T? No, T is going to bring that up. Oh, so T will bring up your compass, which will give you... Uh, you just... Uh, okay, so you hit T, hover over what you want, let go of T, and it, it does the thing. So that's a compass, which kind of gives you a little map. That purple thing is how I'm going to complete the lights in the distance quest, because there is an obelisk over there, and that's what that is marking. Uh, T, I don't need this right now. T, T, I said T. Um, I'm trying to remember how to use the power extenders. I don't remember how to use them. Uh, what what button it is, and I hit T again. But for right now, I could, I could do that and. E to use, but it should just allow me to hit a button. I thought it was R, but it's not. Um, anyway, so, but for right now, I'll hold E, and that gave me a power extender. And these will allow us to extend power from one point to another to power devices. And that's what they look like. And you just string them together and you know, put stuff wherever you want. Uh, I only have five power extenders, but uh, for right now, but you can build more. I believe they, I don't want to hold these for now. I'm not going to need them. Put them over there. Uh, you can build the power extenders on our backpack and they cost one copper, which I don't have right now. However, uh, let's go back over here. What were we doing? Okay, uh, so printing and using a research chamber. This is how we're gonna get, gonna get bites, which is what I was telling you before. So it's nice that I found all those big plant things. We also have uh, smeltingly, smelteringly hot, which I can't do right now. Retooling can't do right now. Lithium, you're going to have to go to a whole other planet for that. Um, lights in the distance, we can, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. So for right now, we will build the research chamber, which I believe I do at the medium printer. Uh, research chamber. Go ahead and build it. 
and we're going to need the large platform we got to put it on. Oh, to care, and when you have something really large, if it's small, if you uh, left click on it and hit E, it puts it on your backpack. If it's large and you left click on it and then hit E, you carry it. So, you know what? We'll plug that into our generator here. Rotate it a little bit. Just a little bit. Fine. I'll unpack it. And then we'll plug that in. So now this platform is powered. So if we put something on it that requires power, this will do the job. And this is almost done. And this medium printer is drawing more power than our shelter is providing, so our battery is draining. And now that we're not using it anymore, the battery should slowly fill back up. Oh, the other one's probably filling up first. It is. So we'll grab this. We'll unpack this. Uh, flip this around. Now, whenever you build a new piece of machinery, you always have to turn it on the first time. And you just hover over it, click E to examine, flip that button up, and turn it on. Now, whenever we put something scannable inside it, it will scan it for bytes, which we'll use to spend. Now, I have a bunch of stuff that we got. So I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to slot that in, and it will start researching it. And this requires two use of power while it's active so our batteries are going to drain now we also have a generator so i could turn the generator on so the shelter combined with the generator will provide it with su sufficient power but eventually the generator will exhaust its material um, i do have a medium platform so what i could do is we'll unplug this for now. I'm gonna take the medium platform. I'm going to, where's the button? Put that there for now, we'll unpack it. I also have a small uh, or medium storage that we got. I'm going to put this on top of our medium platform, which will give it more storage slots uh, and it unpacks like that but if i hover over it and hit e it expands it out i'm gonna put our generator on top of it and the reason i am doing this is i'm going to now reconnect this back up and connect that back up now power is flowing again but i'll show you real quick so i'm gonna grab a bunch of this plant material which is how we're gonna get organic compound and I want a few of these. And all I'm doing is tapping on the drill so as not to make huge holes. I'm just left, just uh, tapping the left click button. All right, so we have organic. And now you'll see why I put that on the platform. Or, well, I'll explain why. So I'm going to turn this on. Put this stuff there and the reason I'm doing this is because now any this is going to produce this generator is going to produce one U of power and that combined with our shelter will keep our research center going our research chamber going and actually let me turn this off while I explain it hopefully it'll drain the batteries the reason I put these on top of here is the generator will, will auto load the organic into itself as long as it is on a platform shared with other organic material. So meaning if this generator was over here, it wouldn't work. But if this generator is here, it'll work because they're all on the same platform. So when this generator runs out of organic material, it will auto load the rest of these one at a time. So we basically have, you know, uh, don't remember how long these last, how long the generators last, you know, how long each piece of organic material lasts.
but we basically have that much time to run the generator. Okay, the reason I, un I turned the generator off is I wanted to show you this. So we now no longer have any battery power and we're running off of power strictly from the shelter. Our research chamber didn't stop, it just slowed down and now it's only working at half efficiency. So you can have a big, huge base and not have enough power. You'll still be able to run in everything, but it will run slower. So now if I turn on the generator, which will give two use of power, it will speed this back up to full speed and charge our batteries. And the good thing about having the batteries is um, a generator will provide two use of power constantly whether or not you can use it, so power is essentially lost unless you have a way to store it. So our batteries are now taking that overflow. Now, eventually the batteries will fill, but at least we can store some of that energy. So now we're gonna go over here. We completed something. Uh, smelteringly hot. Okay, so take a bite. All right. We're... Uh, accruing research points because I put that thing in the chamber and once we hit 2,000 research points or, or bites, sorry we'll complete a mission. What else can we do? Uh, here we go, a sampling. Okay we can also find research samples on various plant items and I see two uh, right on the screen so it wants us to research ten of those and I'll show you what those are. I see two right here so these things on top of this circle thing, on this circle plant, are research samples. We can hold E to scan them, and it gets us a quick amount of bites. The, we, the other thing we can do with research samples, though, if we wanted to, is to put them into the research chamber. And we will actually get more bites from researching them in a chamber than we do researching them on the fly but it's more efficient to keep this thing full of these bigger research items. And I've got two more. I'm going to put them there. And just like the generator, once this, th because these are now on a shared platform with the research chamber, once this is done researching, it will auto load one of the other two. And it'll do that until it runs out of items on the platform. So I think this may get us to I don't remember how many bites these things ha uh, you know are worth but anyway we'll we'll see uh so we've done that and I'm going to go see if I can find more uh, if I don't if I hit the right buttons more of these research samples I don't want to get too far away cuz I will die not seeing them. Oh, there'll be some over in the mountains there. Or hills, or whatever. I don't want to fall in the hole I made. Ooh, shells. So these shells can also be used to as quick research samples. Or you can put them in the research chamber. But I'm going to hold that. Hit that. Um, and this is new. I don't know what this does. But it says, harmless flora, hold to harvest seed. I, I don't know. Uh, produces resource when tapped. Organic. I, I don't know what this does. I haven't played this game in about a year, so uh, they've added some stuff. I really don't know what that does. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab these shells, hopefully to finish. Oh, these are more research samples here on this plant. Nine. I just need one more. I know there's one over there, but uh, I need to get back. Stop sliding. You need to run now. No, don't do that. You need to run. Oh, there's tethers. No, stop with the backpack. There we go. All right, so. Do I see? All right, there's right, there's got to be more... I think there's more... Uh, there's shells. I just need one more. Here we go. I'm gonna run. 
Master of Unboxing. Anybody that has ever played Resident Evil, that's a take on that. Because Jill was the master of unlocking. All right, let's see. What can we do now? So here we go. Sampling is what we completed. Uh, so, well, we're going to get more tethers. All right, so I'll go ahead and complete that. And gently drop those down to the surface. Uh, the research chamber. Oh, print and use the... Oh, okay. So I can get... Uh, this is complete as well. Uh, we'll get two beacons and some bites. And just gingerly drop those down. Okay, um... Oh, we didn't complete the Master of Unboxing. We just got the quest for it. Not sure... So, one thing I uh, can do is... Let's see. What can I do? Uh, can I... So, the smelter... I can... Okay, so... To unlock things and spend your bites, uh, you have the backpack, and if you hit tab, it'll open up this little slot in your backpack that has the place where you can purchase research, uh, or you can research other pieces of equipment and upgrades and things like that. That is a small printer I want. So at the top, you've got your printers, and... Depending on the printer you have selected, that's going to give you the type of items you can research. It's it's going to be... There's a smelting... I need compound... That's it? Yes. Yes, please. How much for this? Make it now. Bites. I want to... Yes, I will spend all the bites. 250. So, I believe it's the medium printer that I can print this from. Is it? Or was it the large? It was the large. Damn it, I need to build a large printer. All right, so a large printer, I think, is just going to be resin. Come on, make it go away. Oh, E. So let's go over here. Or not resin, comp large printer compound. I need more compound. There's only a bunch of it everywhere. Um, Where can I tap into more compound? Drop some tethers. Oh, that's not that's not close enough. I'll die. Damn it. Where is I thought there was compound out that way. I don't think so. Is it that way this way over here? I should grab more tethers. So that's the original hole that I was grabbing compound and resin from, I believe. I should keep dropping these tethers. So I do not die. Okay, there's probably some here. We'll, we'll drill this out. Oh, yeah, there's some here. There's definitely compound here. Yeah, there's a bit. Okay, um... Now, full up on compound. I will come back out this way for resin, too, when I need it. Oh, wow, there's resin right there. And there was some... If I haven't said it, F brings up your, your gun, your your mining gun. And if you hit C, you can actually toggle through several different modes. So this digs the arrow down. The arrow down, or the arrow up, will build up as long as you have an oxygen canister. So you see, I can build up. And this will level. It, so wherever you put it, from that point, it will level all the ground to that point. So... It will also take away soil if you need to take away soil. So notice how this is is slightly higher. If I do this, it'll actually level it down. But for right now, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to build the large printer. 
And I need... I also need a large platform. Oh, damn. Oh, we're out of... Okay, so this is why this thing is cheating. Okay, so I'm going to show you why it's cheating. I take this off of here. Put this on here. Now, whenever the wind blows, this is just going to produce five units of power. And it's going to quickly... Um, fill our... Well, it'll fill our batteries and power everything we have so far. Right now, there's no wind. But... Oh, and if you want to save the game, all you have to do is enter the shelter, and it will create a save point. I believe it will make saves every so often regardless, but if you wanted to make sure your game is saved, just enter and exit the shelter. Alright, so... It's printing the printer. I need a large platform. I think I need more compound or no resin resin. I think it's resin for the platforms. So I'm going to come over here and load up on some resin. Yeah, there's a bunch of it. I need to make another canister as well. So uh, let me um, do this. Go to my... Uh, tethers, uh, not that small canister. I think I'm full, though. I can get one more resin. Actually, I might be able to get two more resin. Because it will store one kind of... Or, actually, it might drop it. Let's see. Yeah, it drops it. So, Oh, here's a tip. So... If you ever needed one extra space uh, to to bring something back, your printer will store an item. So as long as it's an item that it can print, uh, or, you know, that it can use to print. So, for an example, a small canister was selected, so it threw a resin in there, and it's storing an extra resin. Now, if I were to change this to something that didn't require resin, it would drop it. So now my backpack is full. So if I go back it will load a resin in there. So you can kind of get an extra uh, backpack slot if you need it by... Uh, so as long as, you know, you're mining for material you can actually build something from using your backpack. If I if this was full of a bunch of ladder, I, I wouldn't be able to store an extra item because the small... My backpack printer can't print anything... Or can't use laterite for anything. Anyway, I'll grab this. We'll just we'll just take it back. We'll we'll run back with it. Just carry it this way. I think you run a little slower like this, but um, oh, the thing must be running. Is it? Is our turbine? Yeah, I see wind. So that thing is spinning. Now everything is running at full uh full speed, and our batteries are charged. And that's our. Okay, so that's printed. I need a platform for it, though. So let's go... Melting Furnace Research Chamber. Large Platform A. Uh, oh, you can see... So, if you look, it shows you the outline of what it's going to print. So, there's Large Platform A and Large Platform B. I want Large Platform B. Large Platform A is just that square thing. Large Platform B has two little things on the side that you can store stuff on. And that's handy. Uh, platform A costs two resin. Platform B costs three. We're going to go ahead and do that. And that's what I'm going to plug my printer on. Let's see. Did we unlock any more missions? Uh, we're all, Oh, I need more. Oh, I only need 100 more research to finish that. Uh, let's find something real quick. see I see something I think is that a research thing or is that a I don't know what that is what is this that must be something else that's new I've never seen some of this stuff before. I can probably research these though so I'll grab them I can probably research them. I don't know what those any of that stuff does. Uh, can I get back with the... Oh, no. Yeah? Oh, there's a tether. I have a tether. 
I should, I should, I should be fine. I should be fine. Fine. It's all fine. All right. So I could, I'm going to throw this in there. Is the research red? Does that mean it can't research that? That's growable. I don't know what that means. Uh, or anyway, can I research this? Nope. I do not know what these do. I'm going to drop them on the ground and they may grow more. I do not know. By dropping them on the ground, they may grow. I but I need I need something to research. Um Oh, and there's one of these. So there are these things which that has a research item in it, and it has a good research item in it, like something small that'll that has a bunch of bites. Um, in order to open this, we have to provide power to it, and there's a power port right there. So, I might be able to come back with a generator and open that, and then that will get us the research that we need to complete that one mission. I'm gonna die. No, I'm good, I think. Uh-oh. Maybe? I am going to run out of oxygen. Okay. Um, when you run out of oxygen, you do have a few moments uh, to suffocate before you just die. Um, well, I'm going to drop this for now because it's full. Uh, I want to take... I think one generator's enough, maybe? Stop friggin' turning on! Alright, so now let's go back. I have tethers. I should just tether. Where was the thing? And I lost it because I wasn't paying it. It's over there. Oh, Steam's window came up. Why? Okay, there we go. Damn it. Oh, if I can find the right buttons. Um, so I can quickly run and drop these. I've found that basically every five steps that this guy takes you is the extent of these tethers. So I just... he can, I count to five and drop. Like, watch. One, two, three, four, five. Lose it. And so, so if I go one, two, three, four, that uh, screwed me up. You're gonna lie on me. So, one, two, three, four, five, drop. One, two, three, four, five, drop. And and you could do it while you're running too. But that's how I drop tethers quickly. Um, it, uh, you didn't know, but yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, drop. One, two, three, four, five, drop. And yeah. And it does, yeah, so. Anyway, right now I just need to grab this generator. Nope, that. I want this. Give me the generator. That'll just kind of go anywhere. Um, and then I will plug it in. Oh, hold on. Not enough power. I don't, I have compound, so I can, I can print another small generator. I am going to need some plant materials to fill it. Okay. Stop turning on. All right, so now if I come back over here. I can tether those two together and open this thing up so plug plug into plug into the thing there we go turn him on turn him on and it opened yay then i can grab these and this i can hold it to scan it immediately but it will get me way more research points if i put it into our research chamber Stop sliding. So we're going to run back. We're about 
ready to stop the video. Well, in seven minutes anyway. So, as you can see, this will actually get very complex. You, you can have huge, sprawling bases, and maybe that's what I'll do with the last few minutes. I'll show you one of my more... I don't know what to call it. Ah, it is. It, did it plant itself, or did it just explode? I don't know. I'll show you one of my more involved saves. All right, so... But this is what we're, we're doing, is we're, we're following missions, we're building up a little base here. Eventually, we'll be able to build a rocket ship and launch to other planets. Um, oh, there, we just completed the take a bite thing. So... And that will get us more bites. <laughs> Alright, um, ooh, ooh, we could do our smelter, though. We could do our smelter. Smelter. Because we've got, we've got this... And I'll just quickly unbox this. We'll put this on top of it. I, I am normally better with the organization aspect, but plug that in, give that power. So now... Oh, no, I just... It's the large printer, so now we can build the smelter. Sorry. So... Where's the smelter? I unlocked it. I know I unlocked it. Maybe I didn't. Is it, is it built from here? Yeah, uh, damn it. It's built from... Well, we'll need a large printer at some point. So here, build build the, the thing. Build it. Um, we'll, we'll put this there for now. Uh, that's a good spot for it. Um, <laughs> whoops. For some reason, I thought we needed a large printer. But we didn't. We needed... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, this is almost done. And then we can smelt things. There was clay somewhere. Where's clay? I saw clay. And now I won't be able to find- there's clay. So clay is a material that we can use in both its unrefined and refined forms. So I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of clay. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, come on. Really? You didn't give me the last piece? Okay, there we go. And we'll go back here. I haven't played this game in a while. Anyway, um, so here. Here's our smelter. We'll put that there. Now, we can actually print stuff with clay right in our backpack. I believe. Oh, maybe I don't have it unlocked yet. But we can also make things using ceramic. And ceramic is the smelted form of clay. Now, remember, when you first turn on or activate a machine, you have to turn it on. So I just hovered over it and hit E to turn it on. Now it is smelting into, into ceramic. So our clay is being smelted into ceramic. All right. So, that's what this game is. You're basically building up bases, you're researching uh, to be able to spend those research bites to buy new equipment and expand your base. Eventually, you'll, get, you'll be able to build a rocket sh ship and go uh, uh, to other planets and do kind of the same thing. There is a point, there's something you have to do on each planet uh, as part of the story, and if you want to finish the game. So... It's basically what the game is, is you build bases to achieve a certain goal, and then you move on from planet to planet, completing that goal. I don't want to spoil anything. And once you're done, you finish the game. I believe anyway. I've never finished it. I usually just keep building. Anyway, so before we... I'm going to leave this. Uh, actually, we're going to do this. It'll say save and quit to main menu. Yes, save and quit to main menu. I'm going to show you one of my bases. This one is mine, I believe. Yeah, 12 megabytes. So, load. Uh, the file sizes increase as you do more. And this will put us on Silva, and you'll be able to see some of what you can... I am not... Like, there are people out there that build 
automation and huge bases and sprawling like I i'm not at that level this is taking a second to load because there's a lot all right so this is one of my bases and that's my power uh generation it's a bunch of small medium and uh actually i think it's just small and medium batteries uh i want to hover over a battery yeah and they are plugged into a bunch of wind turbines so i can store that power and solar panels and whatnot so when the sun's out and when the wind blows i will generate power and it will store the power into batteries that runs through this power splitter or not the power splitter but uh yeah it is a splitter and it'll actually show me a readout of how much is being generated and how much is it's drawing so um this is a tram the, the, these are a giant tram system I built to take me to various resources. Uh, one of the resources I'm mining, which you saw me do it with my little hand drill, but I am actually using this guy to mine clay. And on top of him is that big, huge canister he is storing said clay in. So... Ah, what happened? No, I don't want to pick that up. I didn't want to pick that up. That was an accident. All right, so over here. So that is a medium resource container that I built. I loaded that on top of him. And as he mines, you can see he's mining and he's generating the resource over here. When that's complete, it will get loaded into that large container. I don't want to spend too much time here because like I said, this is supposed to be a first hour. Um, but here's a tram. We'll, we'll get on the tram real quick. And it's W to start. Uh, how do I... I don't remember how to... We'll go back. There is a way... Okay, A to change. Okay, so we'll go this way. I built this, obviously. This is a tram that will take me to the various points where I am mining resources. Uh, see, there's there's one. I'm mining... Uh, is that cobalt? I can't remember. Uh... Then over here, I can switch that. I'm mining malachite up here. So if you look to the left, you'll see it's full, so it's not mining anymore, I don't think. Yeah, it's full. And then down here, I'm mining resin. And now, this, this tram, see all these slots? And see the re... I can pull these resource containers and swap them out for empty ones. So I do my little mining loop and I can reload up on materials that I need to build various things. And we're going to go left. And it's just A and D to switch change to, to switch the tracks as you approach them. What? I can't remember. What is this? Uh, oh, there's Malachite there, too. So that's malachite. This is what you get copper from. What is this? So this is graphite. It's graphite. Okay. Okay. And what else do I want to show you before we leave? Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. All right. So let's go backwards. Um, one of the other big things you can do, and and I'll, sh I'll show this. You can mine, there are caves, and you can even mine down into caves, and there's resources in the caves that you can use. So I built my little mine train down into the cave systems so that I can get certain resources. Uh, actually, I don't want to go too far down, but there's, there's various resources in here, like that pink stuff is quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse this, uh, but there are certain things you can get only in cave systems, or they're more prominent in cave systems. So, we're going to do this, and then I'm going to... That is a tractor. You'll be able to build that early on in the game. Oh, and one other thing I'll show you is some of the automation. Um, this is very basic automation, but you see these little arms and things? They will actually load resources into those canisters 
if I place them on one of these, or if they get placed on one of these tables. Uh, my soil centrifuge, as it makes materials, they come out and get distributed onto this platform, and then this arm will pick it up and store it. And the same goes for the uh, smelting furnace. Well, I have two smelting furnaces. Um, let's see if I can... All right, we'll, we'll, we'll grab resin as an example. So if I take and put this resin on here, and this is this power switch, I have to turn it on. Turn it on, he will take it, he'll hand it off to that table, uh, that guy will grab it, and he'll put it there, and it'll get loaded into my resource canister. Very simple automation, but in my soil centrifuge, I can have the centrifuge make more resin, and it'll just dump it onto this platform, and these things will pick it up and load it into the appropriate canister. And like I said, same thing for the smelter melted materials and resources and they all get stored here into these canisters very very just very basic um very basic and the last thing i want to show you is the rocket ship yay rocket ship and i've got this thing loaded for bear all that stuff gets stored in the rocket ship. it's weird but don't question it but this is a rocket ship and this is how you're going to get from planet to planet so we will go ahead and it is C to launch into orbit, V to launch to another planet. We'll go ahead and do V. And then this is how we're going to go from planet to planet. So, and there's several planets in the solar system. There are all these different planets, including De Solo, which is Silva's moon. So now let's go ahead. Typically in my first hour, as I say, would I continue to play this game after the first hour? Answer is hell yeah, I have. I I have a lot of hours in this, as do quite a few of my friends. This game is very addictive. Uh, well, at least it was for me. It, it scratches a certain type of, uh, a certain part of my brain, the engineering side of my brain you're building and you're trying to find solutions to problems some of the planets you land on may not have a lot of solar uh light that gets through or may not have a lot of wind and there's even one planet that has not a lot of both and you have to solve these problems with some of the equipment you can unlock and the tools that you have if you like games like minecraft or survival base building types of games this is probably up your alley oh that is an obelisk there that's what that one mission lights in the distance. You go towards one of those. There's another one. If you watch to this point and you like this video, why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below? If you want to see more, why not subscribe? But for now, I'm Jojo Fusion, and I'll catch you in the next one. Capture me.